My first time watching the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's go ahead and watch this. Wait, is this where the, the... Originated from? Like it comes from this movie because you hear that I've heard this my whole life. Whoa. He is about to be in tears. What? <laughs> they went in, no questions asked. Ugly pop out the window. <laughs> oh, how did he do that? Oh, look at this innovative construction. Also, the music is gorgeous. So we're about 10 minutes in and there's been no dialogue. Just action. You watching and taking it in. You're just absorbing the world. Is the dad in trouble? Oh. Oh, even they know. Oof, that's a beautiful shot. Don't talk to me. Rule of thirds. Tell Baker that I told him all that I know already. Tell him I want to live in peace, understand? There were no witnesses. They couldn't uncover any more. I can't tell Baker what happened to the money. Words around you had a visitor. Name it Jackson. Jackson was here. Maybe Baker would like to know just what you and Jackson had to say about the cash box. I'm only interested in what name Jackson's hiding under now. I would have found him already. When I start off to find somebody, I find him. Why is Baker paying you? That's your family? Yes. <laughs> what does he pay you for murdering me? Five hundred dollars. Wow. The name? Carson. Bill Carson. One thousand. And some in gold. But when I'm paid. I always see the job through. <gasps> oh! Oh, well at least, le no, leave the thousand dollars. You killed the husband, you at least have to. <gasps> oh my, oh! No! Man, it's wicked in the West. It's wicked in the West. He said, I get my money, I finish, I seize the job through. Yes, I'm speaking in plural. He sorts the jobs through. <laughs> he did it. I just wouldn't want to be found by this guy. You'd say quite a bit that should interest you. The name Jackson's hiding under is Bill Carson. That's your bid. Keep talking. He also mentioned something about a certain uh, cash box. That's <laughs> my bid. Not enough for you, eh? He'll never say anything to anybody again. Oh, yeah. yeah perfect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He did a good job for me. I almost <laughs> forgot. He gave me a thousand. No! <laughs> 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 He's not joking. But you know, I always follow my <laughs> job. You know that. Oh my god! No! Angela! He said, Gots to see it through, my boy. <laughs> he is so loyal to his job. The bad, right? <laughs> he said, Gots to see it through, my boy. No, no pistol, amigo. It won't do you any good. You know you've got a face beautiful enough to be worth two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you don't look like the one who collected. Collect. <laughs> oh, it's just his voice, y'all. Yes, I finally get to see him in like a western western. Ooh! <laughs> I don't know if I'd be smiling if I was you, bruh. Why he spared him? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. How much are you worth now? Two thousand dollars. <laughs> Come and loose! Come and loose! Let me go and I'll pardon you. What a... <gasps> you recognize this man? Thank you. Yeah, it's you. You can't even read. <laughs> roll it up! Roll it up! Hey, hey! Everybody look, look! He's giving him the filthy money! That money will go to the undertakers! Every penny of it, huh? Crimes of murder 
Armed robbery, citizen theft to sacred objects, kidnapping, extortion, oh. passing counterfeit money, and contrary to ah <laughs> oh, the smoke. He sends the accused here before us. Wait, you just blow him? <laughs> just shoot, shoot off hats. Why did he set him free? Five for you. Five for me. Was he working with him? Five for you. Oh, wait, was that a, like a con? Listen, the neck at the end of the rope is mine. I run the risks. You may run the risks, my friend. I do the cutting. Cut down my percentage. Liable to interfere with my aim. <laughs> Whoever double crosses me and leaves me alive, he understands nothing about Duko. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted in 15 counties of this state. How Standing many times us? have they done this? Angel Eyes! Uh oh. What do they call him, Angel Eyes? An armed unit escorting a cash box of gold coins meets a Yankee ambush. The thing that wasn't saved, though, was the coins. I know his name. But you don't know just who you're looking for, and I do. All I know is Carson re enlisted. The poor guy's minus an eye. He lives with a girl called Maria. Where's she? What's the name of that town? <laughs> Stop playing. I'm glad they got him. A man guilty of all those crimes. Even a filthy beggar like that has got a protecting angel. Oh, wow. At least Angel Eyes peeped the game. Golden haired angel watches over him. Oh, oh, it didn't really work. Can he run, though? I mean, I do not like him setting this man free. It's just the coolness of Clint's character. Nobody misses when I'm at the end of the rope. You never had a rope around your neck. Yeah, you're right. It's getting tougher. What do you mean? Because I don't think you'll ever be worth more than $3,000. I mean, our partnership is untied. You remain tied. I'll keep <laughs> the money and you can have the rope. <laughs> you filthy double crossing of all the stinking dirty tricks. Way back to town is only 70 miles. You know, if you save your breath, I feel a man like you could manage it. Come here, take it, cut this rope off. Get off that off. Kill you! I'll kill you! Oh. Such ingratitude after all the times I've saved your life. <laughs> yes! Yes, he said. Such ingratitude for all the times I've saved your life. Bill Carson, what does he look like? Oh, he tricked her. Is that Angel Eyes? I cannot see. Go on talking about Bill Carson. I don't know. You just said Bill, is that you? I'll ask the questions. Where is he? I don't know where he is. He packed his things ten days ago. Which company? Where'd he go? Third Cavalry. Although I am a little concerned that he's still alive because he said, if you leave me alive, he gonna come back for you. I'm very sorry, but the store's closing. <laughs> Cartridges. Oh man, don't give him. Hmm. You're not gonna accept the payment, man. This is not good business. How much? Twenty dollars. No. How much? A hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. That's all I've got. Come here. Ah. Uh. <laughs> huh? I don't know why the good let the ugly go, knowing that he was gonna keep up the crime. If you work for a living, why do you kill yourself working? <laughs> what? It's like I understand what I don't. Potatoes. Gotta be poor to eat potatoes. I'm rich, but I'm lonely. I used to have a friend, Pedro, Chico, and Ramon. His two brothers were my friends too. But who knows where they are now? I had a good deal for you. Four thousand dollars. And I know where to find it. I divide it four ways, like a brother. Oh. Um. <laughs> You're alive, Tuco. And I'm coming to give you $3,000. Vamos. Uh oh. 
These rebels have no will to fight. Poor thing. And we begin making money on those Yankees. They carry gold, not paper dollars. <laughs> they carry gold, not paper dollars. The white beards. He looks dead. He's finally getting out of our hands. Dixie! Woo! Upstairs. Upstairs in room four, senor. You rotten criminals, how dare you! <laughs> they are tippy toe Wow. Your spurs. There are two kinds of spurs, my friend. Those are coming by the door. Those are coming by the window. That was pretty sneaky. Take off that pistol belt. Tuco could have had him, for real, for real. It's empty. Mine isn't. Even when Judas hanged himself, there was a storm, too. That could be cannon fire. Cannon fire or storm, it's all the same to you. You ever see this before, my friend? Throw it over the roof beam. It's got to hold the weight of a pig. <laughs> now put the rope around your neck. I don't shoot the rope. I shoot the legs off the stool. <laughs> no way! <laughs> You're kidding me. You're kidding me right now. If you're looking for a summer vacation spot, you found it. Our hotel is luxurious and filled with conveniences. <laughs> you got jokes? International cuisine. Healthful and nutritious food. Mm. Have you ever heard of someone named Canby? He's a Yankee colonel who decided to tear us to pieces. The only thing we care about is saving our own hides. And you ask me if I know some. Carson has a patch over one eye. He's with the third. They've already left. Canby's front line is right on their heels. I really doubt that any of them are still alive. You must not have heard anything about Batterville. It's one of those Yankee prison camps. You'd better hope you never end up in. It sounded like just somebody was in the studio up by the mic just just pouring, just pouring her heart out. Oh, he's tracking him. He always has a cigar, so he's just leaving a, a whole trail behind. He's seeing if it's still hot. I feel like if Tuco is this good at tracking somebody down, he should actually put his skills to good use instead of being a criminal. Guilty of the following crime. Horse theft. Oh, wow. <laughs> and Shorty? No. Come on, let's go. Why don't these two, the good and the ugly, just admit that they're besties? Because if they really wanted each other dead, they would have been dead. Like a little bit of cat and mouse, Tom and Jerry. As soon as I hit the desert, I'm thirsty. <laughs> as soon as I hit the desert, I'm thirsty. <laughs> you won't have to carry so much. <laughs> hundred miles of beautiful sun-baked sand. If you save your breath, I feel a man like you could manage it. Oh, why is he doing this? Oh, he's blistering. You two go get this umbrella. This is so sad. Yeah, at least gotta give him some water. Something. Look at his skin. <laughs> Man, I don't care if his piggly wiggly's been in that, that, that water bucket. I'm gonna put my face in the water bucket. I don't care. Okay, I'll sip from the water bucket. You nice. know what I'm saying? I'm in a desert. I am thirsty. I'll, I'll dip my whole head, cranium and all, in the water bucket. I want some water? <laughs> drink, drink. Come on, come on. Little foot soup ain't never hurt nobody. <laughs> Man, I don't care. I'm licking the I'm licking the bottom of the bucket, boy. You're not finna dehydrate me out here in the desert. Oh, I'm so blundy. 
Goodbye. Who is that? Is that the army? Uh oh. Who did that? If I see a wagon full of dead men, I'm not really trying to investigate. Oh, wait, one of them has an eye patch. Is that Bill Carson? I know that, uh, old Blondie is over there dehydrated, but I still wouldn't keep my eyes off of him. By the time Tuco look back, he gonna be gone. Oh, oh wait, he is alive. Uh-oh. I feel like the plot just got thicker. Carson. Oh! My name is Bill Carson. Oh, Carson. man. What was that you said about the dollars? The gold. I hit the gold. Where? Where? Here? Here? Cemetery. Which cemetery? Come on, you dummy talk. Give me some water. Uh, water? Oh, you talk first, huh? Oh, I'll give you water later. Don't die until later. I'm telling y'all, Blondie is gone. Get away from there! What did he tell you? Name on the grave. What name? There's a fly on him. Just get a people some water. Oh, he about to cry. Please don't die. Oh. Don't move. I'll be right back. Oh. Please don't die. Wait, is this the camp Angel Eyes just left? For a moment. Yes, sir. He's still alive? Well, he seems to be. Name and traveling papers. Second oh. Cavalry Squadron, arriving from San Rafael. He's, oh, he's just faking to be a dead person. Oh. My uh, Corporal, we're trying to withdraw, and you're looking for an infirmary, and you'll have to make yourself a Yankee prisoner. <laughs> oh. Isn't Mission San Antonio around here? The brothers take care of anyone who's wounded, no matter what the color of his uniform. The dynamic is changing between Tuco and Blondie. I don't know if... Tuko is really concerned. He was like, my friend, don't die. I don't know if he's, that's the money talking. <laughs> like he's after the money or if he's genuinely concerned for Blondie's well-being. And I'm just calling him Blondie because we don't know his name yet. But we have to... For the moment, we take very good care of my friend. Look out for him, please. He's like a brother to me. Oh, if, father, did he speak? Did he say anything? Father, father did he ask for me? Did he speak about anything, Father? Oh, he's both young and strong. That's what's kept him going until now. Oh. Blondie. Oh. You're all alone, huh? Like me, Blondie. I have you, you have me. I must tell you the truth, Blondie. It's all over for you now. What? <laughs> it's my fault, mine, 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 mine. Tuco playing games. I would tell about the gold. Yes, yes, I would. <sighs> I tell the name on the grave. Please, have a little. If I get my hands on the two hundred thousand dollars, I'll always honor your memory. <laughs> Come closer. <laughs> Go closer. <laughs> Knowing my good friend is by my side. <laughs> I knew Tuco didn't care for real. Come on, come on, the party's over. The wagon is all ready to go. Tuco, Father Ramirez is back. Oh, yeah. Hey, Pablo? <laughs> Let me embrace you. I, I, I don't know the right thing. <laughs> I was just passing by here. I said to myself, I wonder if my brother remembers his brother. <laughs> They're like blood brothers. Did I do wrong? Oh, my uniform. Yeah. yeah. It's a long story. What about our parents? Only now do you think of them. Mm. So it's nine years. <laughs> our mother has been dead a long time now. Wow. Our father died only a few days ago. He asked for you to be there. Oh. Outside of evil, what else have you managed to do? Just keep on the way you're going. Go away. I took Ramirez, brother of brother, Ramirez will tell you something. Where we came from, if one did not want to die of poverty, one became a priest or a bandit. You talk of our mother and father. You remember when you left to become a priest. I stayed behind. I tried, but it was no good. You became a priest because you were too much of a coward to do what I do. Did 
this just adds so much depth to Tuco. This little scene alone changes your perspective of Tuco. Like you, you're, you're wondering why is he so bad? Like why does he keep doing evil? But this is his, how he sees it, his only way out of poverty. Nice guy, my brother. Yeah, yeah, my brother, he say to me, stay, brother, don't go home. <laughs> my brother, he's crazy about me. <laughs> it just makes their relationship that much more meaningful because even though Tuco and Blondie have had their history, it seems as though they're brothers in a way. I don't know who or what to root for. The good, the bad, the ugly. Uh-oh, who are they up there? Hey, wake up, you. The troops coming. Come on, oh, Gray. Right. <laughs> so let's say hello to them and then get going. Hurrah for the Confederacy! <laughs> Hurrah! <laughs> Down with General Grant! Oh, Hurrah for Ulysses, General Grant! Ulysses, please. Hurrah! <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, what are they covered in? They're like baby powder. Oh, they're blue. It's a never-ending cycle, man. I feel like they couldn't have taken off their, um, the army clothes and just have passed the civilians. Are they preparing to kill them? Robert Clark! Prison! Angel Eyes! Alright, what's he doing? Sleeping? Bill Carson! Bill Carson! <laughs> That's me! Angel Eyes gonna know he lying. What are you doing? <laughs> I suppose you say present, Carson. <laughs> present? Big fat men like you. When they fall, they make more noise. That's enough. The captain wants to see you right away. Be sure these two get good treatment. Hey, Blundy, did you hear that? Good treatment. I'm telling you, I want the prisoners treated as prisoners. Now, what am I supposed to do? I have to have respect. You'll manage to gain the respect by treating them better. Are our men treated that well in Andersonville camp? But as long as I'm commandant, I won't permit any such trickery. Just as long as you're the commandant. But I pray I can manage to have enough time to amass evidence. How was Angel able to get undercover in the Union without nobody knowing that he's really not a sergeant? You're hungry. <laughs> Always. <laughs> I know it, I know it. I bet he got himself an easy job. And he never forgets a friend. It's good to see old friends again. Why are you going under the name of Bill Carson now? Not wise to use your own name. I bet they don't call you Angel Eyes. Sergeant Angel Eyes. <laughs> like a little music with your meal, Tuco? Yes, it's very good. Very good for the digestion. Woo! Oh, wait, don't kill Tuco. Oh, I don't think he would kill him because he has the information. Oh. your friend as long as the song goes. I have nothing to tell you. Oh. What did he say about the money? Buried in a grave. Set in a cemetery. Which grave? Blondie. He knows. The war's over for you. We're going for a ride. Find two hundred thousand dollars, and you know the name of the grave. <laughs> Would you talk? No, probably not. And Tuco, is he? Mm -mm. No, but he's in very good hands. He got the good and the bad working together. I like the good yeah. and the ugly. <laughs> wow. Hey, your friends. Hear that, boys? Come on out here. He brought security. Since we're all going in the same direction, might as well go together. Three, four, five. I got six more bullets in my gun. <laughs> Tugo gonna jump out and train. I've been shaking up in this train nearly ten hours now. You smell like a pig already. Get going. Tuko, what are you gonna do? You watch it. <laughs> Oh, this is even worse. Yo! Not only did he crack that man's skull. Yo! That is even sadder. 
Tuco? Wait, is he there where Angel Eyes is? Oh, he is! Wait, is that one of the dudes from the beginning? Is it? Is he really about to take a bath? In the midst of all that's going on. Okay. A little bit of the bad, a little bit of the good, a little bit of the ugly. <laughs> I've been looking for you for eight months. <laughs> Whenever I should have had, I had lots of time to learn how to shoot with my left. <laughs> <laughs> To talk about the to shoot, 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 don't talk. Right? <laughs> we need to talk about the law. Oh, is she? What did you get you? It's whatever he do. He gets me every time. He gonna take them out one by one. Like, it may start with six, but it's... My own way, I'm here with your old friend, Angel Eyes. Traitor, you talked! I did, I probably wouldn't be here now. Only you know you have the secret? Ah, uh, Blondie! I get dressed, I kill him, be right back. He's not alone. There's five of them. It doesn't matter. I'll kill them all. Well, look who's here. They'll come looking for us. I want that blonde alive. Come on, boys. Oh, <gasps> no! No! Tuco did that? Wow, he, that's a pretty good shot, girl. Look at that, okay. <laughs> and then there were three. Two. What if Angel Eyes dipped? Yup. He, 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 idiots. <laughs> it's for you. <laughs> it's for you? No, no, that idiot was plural. It's for the both of you. <laughs> there should be a bridge across that river. We better wait for nightfall. Trust in me, Blondie. Come along now. Follow me. Oh, we ain't getting number but five steps. We already captured again. We, we want to enlist, General. Tuco. You better learn to distinguish rank. You gotta take a test to prove it. Well, show me. What is in there? Well, this uh, is the most potent weapon in war. Ooh. In here, I destroyed it all. Why not really blow it up, Captain? If I could do it, I could save many thousands of men. The beginning of the daily slaughter right on time. What would happen if somebody were to blow up that bridge? And these idiots will go somewhere else to fight. Oh, wow, they're sitting right in front of explosives. Keep your ears open. We might be risking our lives. I get killed, you'll never get your hands on all that beautiful money. Why don't we tell each other our half of the secret? Why don't we? Huh? You start. The name of the cemetery is Sad Hill. Now it's your turn. The name on the grave is Arch Stanton. Arch Stanton? Are you sure? <laughs> There's, <laughs> y'all, there's no way they made it back to land before that thing blew. It was half, like, <laughs> too cold, <laughs> too cold. <laughs> too, too cold coming back, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that was pretty smooth. You trying to turn your back on Blondie? You for real? <gasps> oh, wait! Oh, there's so much happening! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! First of all, I actually have this song on my playlist, but I did not know it was from the good, the bad, the ugly. So, it's just so, so many emotions. <laughs> that was the baddest transition the smoothest transition don't talk to me oh it's a moment 
Here it is, y'all. Oh, this is incredible. This is so beautiful. <laughs> like, I could cry. Oh, he's running in circles, baby. This is circles. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's just spinning. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm, I'm starting to think like, was what Blondie told him, was it true? Was it really Arch, Arch's grave? <laughs> Lot easier with it. <laughs> He's just such a man of few words. Right, don't even try that too, Cole. We come too far. It's 200k. Okay, we can split it. It's enough for the both of us. <gasps> oh, Angelas! Dig. You're not digging. If you shoot me, you won't see a cent of that money. Why? I'll tell you what. I knew it! There's nothing in there. You thought I'd trust you? Right, that's what I was saying. $200,000 is a lot of money. We're gonna have to earn it. Earn it? Ah. I'll write the name on the bottom of this stone. Again? Girl, what is happening? Oh. Oh wait, this is a, between the three, three, three of them? Oh, this is like a, a try quick draw. I don't know who I would wanna win. Oh, oh. Oh, it's beautiful. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Oh, oh. Tuco and Blondie, they're talking. They're gonna both shoot angel eyes, aren't they? Oh, we're getting the closer shots. Oh. I knew it. Oh, he fell into a grave. Wow. You pig. You wanted to get me killed. When did you unload it? Last night. See, in this world, there's two kinds of people, my friend. Loaded guns, and those who dig. <laughs> dig. <laughs> there's no name on it. There's no name here, either. See, that's what Bill Carson told me. Go ahead. Interesting. Is it there? Let me see. Oh, real talk? Ooh. What? <gasps> no! No! <laughs> you You're lying. You wouldn't play a joke on me like that. It's no joke. It's a rope, Duco. I want you to stand up there and put your head in that noose. No! I feel like we've come so far. What are you talking about? Blondie, are you for real? There's no way. for me. Blondie. Sorry, Duke. Wow. Ah. You know what's ironic? Blondie was saying, I don't think you'll ever be worth more than $3,000 and here he has 100,000 100, right in front of him. Blondie! Is he coming back? No business playing with him like that. No business. I was, my heart was racing for a minute. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, going into this, I was like, how can you possibly make a three hour Western movie and make it entertaining? And then I proceeded to watch the good, the bad, and the ugly. There are so many things that you can dissect, but wow, 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 third act, third act. When Tuco was running in the cemetery with that, that, that music playing, simply has to be one of the greatest scenes that I've ever witnessed. Like, I think every minute of this movie was worth it. And it was broke, like it was a three hour movie, but it's called the good, the bad, and the ugly. And in a way it is three different stories tied up into one because I feel like we got to 
I feel like there was equal screen time. We got to know Tuco and some of his history. We got to see some of Angel Eyes. And then we spent, I don't feel like we spent as much time with uh, Clint Eastwood's character, which I don't think they ever name dropped him, which is, it's kind of inter interesting because the tomb that they went to was unknown and his name is unknown. And he, he still has a bit of mystery to him, but I do feel that they all had a good amount of screen time where I felt connected to them. And by the end of it, I'm like, yo, who do I want to win? There's, they all had so much like personality and things that made you, um, I would say attracted to each character. Like Tuco was this horrible criminal. He's, he's actually just about done every crime, but you still see like some humanity left in Tuco. And it's amazing because he's this criminal, but you find yourself like rooting for him. And I think it's very interesting that he said that, um, you know, where we come from, either you choose to be a criminal or you choose to be a priest. And you saw that between him and his brother, but he no longer has to be a criminal because now he has, you know, money. He doesn't have to live in poverty. He doesn't have to steal, rob, or kill anybody at this point in his life. So hopefully the money does bring about change and he doesn't, you know, fall back into his old ways. And then, I don't know, it's just like the first, like I said, the first 10 minutes and I would say the last 10 minutes of this movie, it was like complete silence. There's no dialogue. I feel that this movie said so much without speaking. I don't, there wasn't, it was a three hour movie. Yes, there was dialogue, there was speaking, but it was limited and it was powerful for what, you know, what they did say because I think so much was conveyed in the body language. My camera died and I do not remember the point that I was in the middle of making, but I know it was a good point. Just overall, I mean, I haven't seen that many Westerns, so I don't know if it's, it's bad to say this is probably one of the greatest Westerns I've ever seen. Um, but I mean, just from the opening scene, like, just everybody was just saucy. These saucy characters. And then Clint Eastwood. Y'all, I just, I've only seen three movies of Clint's, okay? And I think, I think, started to become a big fan of Mr. Eastwood, okay? Because it's funny, because I saw Gran Torino first, then Unforgiven, and now The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And I've, like, watched him, like, D.H. <laughs> so it's it's been so interesting to see, like, how, you know, an older, more seasoned Clint acts versus a, a younger Clint, which, I mean stellar acting his face is like mate i don't know how to describe it he has this this i don't want to say grungy but this this rustic look where he's thinking like his face is always doing something but i don't know how he moves it like his eyes are barely open but they're open but it's he just has just so much his face does a lot of acting um but not in a way where it's like overacting it's just his face tells a story and man he's so subtle he's so subtle like i said like his mouth doesn't even have to be open but he's saying so much i think that's 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 the really big big take that i have from the good the bad and the ugly it spoke without being too loud and it conveyed thoughts and ideas without writing them out and there are some stylistic choices with the, the title sequences and just introducing these three introducing these three characters and the treasure and the money and the gold and you never knew how this movie was going to end up and just seeing Tuco and Blondie's relationship blossom it was really Tom and Jerry it was Tom and Jerry in the west uh because they they they're at each other's throats but at the same time they 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 wouldn't hurt each other um you know but this came out in 66, 66, and I'm watching this like 60 years later. <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly, man. Clint Eastwood, yes, 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 yes. I'm a, I'm a fan, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Hook me up to your ceiling, I'm a fan. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Go ahead and tap that bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And if you'd like to see more content, click on one of these over here. Until next time, y'all. <laughs>